Welcome back, Knights. This is Night Vision News bringing you the latest stories on August 22nd, 2023. Hello, Knights. Thanks for tuning in this Tuesday. To start off today's episode, we have Officer Soto safety tips. Today, Officer Soto tells us to try not to open doors for other students, especially if they're not wearing an ID. Security tip for the week, this week is going to be doors. Um, make sure uh, when you are walking by doors and you see people outside that are trying to come into the building, um, don't open the doors. I direct them to go through the front of the school where we can check them in, especially if they're not wearing an ID. Uh, they should not be on the campus if they're not wearing some sort of identifier. Um, students should be wearing their IDs. If you do know that it's a student, um, if they're wearing their ID and you're just absolutely sure, uh, worst case scenario, don't let them in. But, you know, if they're running later, whatever the case might be, then that's fine. But so just uh, keep in mind, everybody must be wearing their IDs. Anybody that's trying to come in through exterior doors, just send them over to the library. Um, you'll see us walking around uh, the building, checking exterior doors, making sure they're closed. Uh, please don't push doors open. If you are going to go out of the building, make sure you go out through the front of the school, which will be the library. Um, that way we can uh, keep track and know who's in the building and everybody must be identified. Um, that's your tip for the week. Thank you, sir. Stay tuned for more tips next week. Stay safe, Knights. Do you need community service hours? Join the first general interact meeting in room 100 during both lunches tomorrow, August 23rd. Interact always does so much good for our school and the El Paso community. Not to mention going there can knock off a big chunk of your community service hour requirements. Bring a lunch and a friend. Attention staff! A heart saver CPR class has opened up for those of you who need to take or renew your CPR certification. The class is limited to 20 people. You must register on Eduphoria and pay $5 for a card. It will be on August 28th at ACAC Franklin Room from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. Homecoming season is finally here. Come on nights, let's go party because this year's theme is Barbie. Homecoming week will be August 28th to September 1st. Make sure to save the following dates. The homecoming parade will be on August 30th and the game is on September 9th. We'll cover more information about dress up days and the homecoming dance at a later time. I can't wait to see everyone in the school spirit and dressed in glittery pink. Happy homecoming! Have you tried China Walk's delicious Chinese food? Located right across Hanks on Lee Trevino, China Walk offers the best Chinese food in town. Try our famous sweet and sour or sesame chicken at the student special of only $5. There are many dishes to choose from, so come on out and enjoy the quality and flavor of China Walk's delicious dishes for lunch or dinner. Keep it on. Keep it on and swing it like a maniac. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Please keep it on. Keep it on. Just keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Wear the plaque or get sack. Hello, Knights. It feels good to have my sports section back. Starting off, if you'd like to use any of the following athletic training room hours, stop by these hours. The gym is open daily from 7.40 a.m. to 9 a.m. and the field house is open daily from 7.40 a.m. to 9 a.m. and from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Additionally, per request only, you may use these rooms the first 10 minutes of lunch. Hours can be subject to change depending on events. Please contact Eric Rueda at eRueda at YASD.net or Christian Val Valerino at kcortez11 at YASD.net if you have any questions. And in volleyball, they played Chapin and Anthony on Thursday at fr and Friday. <laughs> Both games, our ladies came out victorious with a score of 2-0. to zero. However, on Saturday, they unfortunately lost against El Paso High on 3-0. to zero. Today, the ladies will play at Canatillo at 6.30 p.m. Good luck, ladies. You can do this. As we get ready to go full speed on our sports this season, Night Vision Reporter has gone out to interview some of the coaches whose season is now in session. Zoe Neely has the images and interviews. Roll tape. I'm the head tennis coach over here at Hanks. Hello, I'm Coach Scott Valise. I'm the head football coach and athletic coordinator at Hanks High School. Hi, my name is Veronica Garcia and I'm the new volleyball head coach. I expect the girls to continuously grow. Um, they've done so well. When I saw them last year, they went 10-0, and I continuously want them to still keep that 
um, momentum, that motivation that they have for this coming up season. Hard, show up every day, be disciplined, be accountable, do what they need to do in the, in the classroom, on and off the field, and I expect great things. I don't want to take any less than that. We're always going to struggle. And if we don't struggle, then there's no room for growth. Too far down when things are going poorly. I never let them get too high when things are going great. So they keep an even keel and just keep working every single day. It's part of the process to be great. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> the sportsmanship goes along the way. Also, if they lose, always be a good loser. Work hard. If you win, be a good winner. They're tough. They're hard. They're high tempo and we get a lot of work done in a short period of time. They're in the motion, they look at me and they're like, I got it, I know what I did wrong, coach. Yes, continue to support us and we hope to get back to our community. Yes. Come support, because we're here. Our Mighty Knights had a successful scrimmage on Thursday. But what is a scrimmage and what does it do? Our football players have been training all summer and finally got some action on the field. Our defensive and offensive linemen has a few words for us. We won very well for Hanks. We were able to beat them in almost every aspect of the game. It prepares uh, like our JV, our freshmen, our varsity for our upcoming game against Bowie. We wouldn't be prepared to be able to hit people or we would, do, we would know how to, what areas to improve on. Yeah, we're we need you guys to come in and come at the Bowie game. We're going to need you guys to support us. We're going to beat Bowie. As our Knights prepare for their first game versus Bowie here at home, we want to remind everyone to make plans to attend and support our brave new team. Good luck to them. And that's all I have for sports today. This has been sports anchor Jessica Hill. Have a great day, Knights. Back to you, Lily. Thank you, Jess. And with that, our newscast comes to a close. Don't forget to follow the KVN YouTube channel, Twitter, and TikTok accounts so you can catch all the latest scoops. This has been lead anchor Liliana Rollins for Night Vision News. You're the Tiger Spots.